Hello everyone, welcome again. In this software testing tutorial, we are going to learn what is regression testing. So, regression testing is the most widely done, you know, software testing type in any software testing project because this is the testing that you will be doing in mostly every release and every, you know, new feature being added or defect fix being added. So before we get into the details, let's first understand what exactly regression testing is. So if we talk about the definition, regression testing is the technique or the testing type which is performed to ensure that the existing functionality of the software or application works as expected. If there is any new code introduced or new defect fix has been done or any new functionality added in the application. So please note that regression testing is, uh, you know, different from retesting. So retesting is sort of, you know, you can say it's a part of regression testing, but there is a very fine difference between regression testing and retesting, right? So you need to understand from interview point of view that regression testing is not same as retesting, but in regression testing, you do some retesting. So you can say there are, you know, some uh, retesting or the test case that you execute as part of regression testing are the test cases that you are actually retesting. But the definition and the purpose of regression testing and retesting is completely different. So let's first understand what exactly regression testing is and when you do it, how you do it, what are the different strategies or techniques that you use to do regression testing. Now, let me take an example to explain you exactly what regression testing is. So, in terms of definition, we know that any, you know, testing that you perform, if there is any bug fix or code changes or new functionality addition into the software, that, you know, set of test cases that you execute is the regression testing. Now, say for example, if I take an example of the e-commerce website, so e-commerce website will have the register functionality, right? So that is the example that we have been taking till now. Now in the registration page, say for example, there is a register link and once the user clicks on a register link, he has the option to register using email, using Facebook. Uh, account using Google account and other social media accounts, right? So in the register module, there are many different options basically or different implementation to register a user on the particular website or e-commerce e website. Now when the user registers on e-commerce website, then uh, in that particular case, if there is any change, say for example, you are testing the registration functionality and during the testing of the registration functionality with the Facebook registration or uh, registration using Facebook login ID, the registration fails or registration is not successful. So that is the defect that you found during the functional testing. Now, when the developer is fixing that particular defect, then in that case, that fix could impact other registration functionality as well in the application, right? So when the defect of registration got fixed, then in that case, what you need to do is you need to basically verify that other registration functionality is also working as expected. Now, when you are verifying the other registration functionality or you are testing, the registration functionality using email, using Google account as part of the defect fix that was fixed for the Facebook account, then those test cases that you execute as part of this defect fix are known as regression test cases, right? Or regression testing. Now, regression testing is not limited only to that set of test cases. It could be a complete set of regression test cases. So in this particular case, if say, for example, you want you can test the overall critical functionality of the whole e-commerce website because there has been a fix that is done um, within the application so uh, there are different techniques that can be chosen to do the regression testing so this is a brief introduction and what exactly regression testing is and when you should do regression testing now let me first understand uh, you know what all 
uh, scenarios could be there when you can perform regression testing right so let me say when you can do regression testing so if i talk about when so the first example that we took is when the defect fix happened right so in the case of defect fix so when we say defect fix defect fix will be done when there is a code fix right so if there is any defect there could be you know a code fix or there could be configuration changes that could fix that defect right so in case of defect fix there will be the need of the regression testing okay and the second option could be new functionality right so new functionality added so new functionality functionality or feature being added into the application so that could be the second case third case could be uh, code refactoring right so code refactoring uh, wherein developers or the development uh, development team uh, refactors the existing code to improve the performance or improve uh, the maintainability of the code then in that particular case the overall structure uh, or uh, the code is being refactored and in that case you need to uh, pick a set of test cases that are critical for that application and are basic to that particular application and ensure that the application functionality has not been impacted because of code refactoring or because of adding the new functionality or because of uh, you know having the defect fix in the application so any you know verification that you do to ensure that the existing functionality of the application because of you know defect fix new functionality code refactoring there could be n number of you know other factors as well um, and ensure that the existing functionality of the application works as expected then that is regression testing and these are you know some of the um, places when you do regression testing there could be you know like this is not the comprehensive list there could be many more factors when you choose to do regression testing uh, other I can think of is say for example configuration changes right so config changes so if there are any config changes in the application then in that case as well you do regression testing so this is when part of the regression testing so when you do the regression testing um, now if I talk about the techniques of the regression testing so let me say techniques let me rub this and in the techniques so so in the techniques of regression testing what you can do is say for example there is a defect fix that we have seen in the e-commerce uh, portal so in the, the uh, techniques you can first technique will be you can select all the test cases right so you can select all um, the test cases that existing test cases for the application so in the e-commerce uh, portal whatever test cases you have written till now uh, say for example what are functionalities have been uh, you know implemented you can select all the test cases and execute all those test cases so that could be one of the technique or approach to do the regression testing in case of any fix or any new uh, you know functionality being added but this is this is very highly you know uh, unlikely unless you are uh, having 100% automated uh, regression test suite because it will require a lot of manual testing effort to do the you know complete regression test after each of the defect fix because you have to re-execute say for example uh, till release 2 you have written 100 test cases then with every defect fix you have to basically re-execute those 100 test cases right or with any new functionality being added you have to re-execute those 100 test cases if you do select all or you select all the test cases the second technique you can use is basically um, you know um, regression test selection okay so in this case what you do is you basically see what area of the application has been changed now in this uh, in in the previous example we have seen the registration functionality so in the registration functionality only the registration with facebook was failing say for example right now that uh, fix has been done in the register okay so in the registration pardon my handwriting just uh, let me change it okay so in the registration only the Facebook registration uh, defect has been fixed fixed so what you can do is when you uh, choose this particular technique so what you do is you you 
select the test cases that you want to execute or basically you analyze the modules that could be impacted because of that particular fix. So now we see registration functionality uh, is you know related. Uh, so we will test all the registration test cases with different you know social media account and email account and we will also test the login functionality along with that right. So you can have a subset of test cases you can select the subset of test cases based on your uh, analysis of the module that has been changed or updated by the developer and developers if you talk to developers they will help you out uh, about the impact or the changes that they have done in the code which will help you to analyze which test cases you need to basically re-execute when you when you select uh, the test selection for the regression. The third approach will be uh, basically you prioritize the test cases right. So prioritize. So in the prioritize uh, test cases what you do is you prioritize the critical test cases of your application okay so when say for example your application is already in production and all the major functionality or the critical functionality that is being used uh, uh, you know uh, every day so those test cases will be prioritized and in case of any functional changes any defect fixes those prioritized test cases will be executed as part of the regression testing right so these are some of the techniques that you'll utilize to do the regression testing now when we talk about you know how you can select the regression test cases so let me explain how part of the regression testing as well so how to select how to select tests all right now to understand how to select regression test cases what you need to uh, understand is basically uh, say for example first thing is to um, say frequently used functionalities right so frequently used functionalities so this is one of the criteria that you can utilize to identify your regression test cases so in the project when you are working you will have the prioritized um, uh, you know functionalities or the critical functionalities that are used very widely by the by the end user or by the customer then if those are the used functionalities or the frequently used functionalities then those functionalities or any test cases related to this, that functionality will have the test cases those test cases will be critical for your regression testing and you need to pull out those test cases and have those into your regression test suite. So this is the first you know approach that you can use to select the test cases so critical functionality pull out the test cases for those critical functionality uh, in your application. The second is basically high priority so based on uh, the priority so high priority. So if you have uh, you know the test cases you will have the priority assigned to those test cases. So second approach is uh, in case of any changes or new functionality or new uh, implementation um, new feature being added into the application you pick all the high priority test cases that you already have and you allocate those as a regression test suite and execute those uh, the third criteria could be your say for example integration test cases right so integration test cases are uh, you know another very important test cases because when you have the application it will be integrated with other n number of applications and if there are any updates in the application you want to ensure that all the integration points are working as expected. So this is another criteria to pull out the regression test cases. So these are some of the key criteria that you can utilize to pull the regression test cases and create your regression test suite and make it ready to be executed when whenever there is a you know defect fix or new functionality added right. Uh, the third uh, the, the next one could be you know say for example um, select test cases as per module so as per module. So when you when you do this so when you select as per module then in that case same example uh, login functionality so in that case you analyze what fix has been done in the software application and based on that change you analyze the module and see what all changes have been done which all modules could have been impacted and you 
make the selection of the test cases based on that change in the module right so this is you know this could be another criteria to select the test cases so these are some of the criteria but when you start you know working in in the project and you will start to analyze uh, analyze the overall you know application and how uh, to figure out the test cases there could be you know, like another n number of you know selection criteria that you will come to know but these are some of the very commonly asked criteria and very uh, widely used criteria basically to pull out the regression test cases and verify the regression uh, that the application is working as expected in case of any you know um, changes to the code because of bug fix or functionality changes or addition of the new requirement or implementation of the re new requirement in the application so that is all about uh, basically what is regression testing and uh, you know when to perform regression testing we have covered uh, some of the techniques of regression testing and then how you can select the regression test cases uh, and ensure that your application works as expected if there is any you know um, new code introduced into the application because of defect fix or any other changes into the application so that's all for this tutorial hope it was helpful please do share and subscribe and thank you very much for watching